Hi everyone, so today I want to show you a tent card variation that I saw. Uh, I can't remember where I saw it, I think I might have seen it on Pinterest. Um, so basically, it's difficult to show you this way up, but that's how it looks. And then if you turn it sideways, that's what it looks like. So it's quite interesting because you don't have it worrying about it splaying out. And you've got that extra bit on the front. So it's just quite a nice, and obviously it folds flat for posting. I mean, I've put flowers on this, so obviously that, to post that would be a bit tricky, but you didn't, you know, you don't need to do that. But it's quite a nice, it's quite a nice card and it stands up really nicely. I'll stand up for you. And it's nice because that little front section there, you'll be able to see it on the photos at the beginning, but that little front section there pops up nicely. And you could do it, you know, you could decorate it differently. Um, you don't need to have a top of there if you don't want to. The one I'm going to do today will be slightly different. Um, but yeah, you can just have fun with it. So let's get started. So for starters, you're going to need a piece of card that is 11 and a half by four. So that's my piece of card, it's 11 and a half by four. Uh, so you need to get your scoreboard out. And you're going to need to score this at one inch, at five and three quarters, and at ten and a half. Okay, so that's that piece done. Now you also need another piece of card, again in the same colour, the same base card. And this one measures eight inches by four inches. And this one you're just going to score at two inches at four inches and at six inches. Okay, so that's all your scoring done. You can put your scoreboard away. So now what you're gonna do is if you take your the first piece that you did and you're just gonna fold it in half down the halfway line. And then both of these end pieces you're going to fold in so it's all mountain folds so you end up with that that's what you end up with okay so you can put that to, to one side for now then you want to take your other piece which you scored at two four and six and you're going to do a mountain fold to start with then a valley Make sure that it folds properly. There we go. And then a mountain again. Okay, so you end up with a basically like an M, M shape for mother. Okay, so now what you're going to need is you're going to need to stick the two pieces together. So, if you take so with these tabs folded in, you need to put some tape on this tab here and you want to put it on this, what would be the right side of your card, if you see what I mean, this bit here. Okay, I'm going to use red tape just because it's quite, uh, it's sort of a 3D type project and so I want to make absolutely sure that it's going to stay stuck. So I'm just going to use red tape. You could use normal double sided tape or you could use um, a glue if you want to, that's fine too. But I just like to have, to know that where there's a bit of action, like a bit of kinetic or whatever, or, you know, you just it's going to stay stuck. Okay, so you've got a piece on there. So if I open this up, you can see where I've put it. Folds that way. Okay, and I'm going to do the same on this tab up here. Okay. So, you don't need that extra bit, that was just me using up the tape. Okay, so, once you've done that, if you take off the backing off one side, and then you want to fold that up, and then you're going to, basically, you're going to stick it in this middle valley of this card. So this, if I put this way around, so this valley here, right in the middle, you're going to stick it along that edge, okay? So I'm going to stick that. So I'm going to slide this non-sticky edge down this bit here, and then that is going to stick to the side, this side here. So we're going to slide that in like that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shut the whole thing onto it, like that. 
okay so that gives you so you end up with a very strange looking piece okay you've got your end bit and then this is your other bit on top so now you're going to take the backing off of this tape here and again fold it in and then where you've just got your mounting bit you want to squish that all shut okay so i'm going to squish that all shut so that's all concertina down and i'm going to fold this over there's my sticky bit there fold this over and we're going to stick that down like that so once you've stuck it down you should end up with that okay so you've just got a kind of your temp bit there and then your, your little m shape there this is the front of your card okay this bit here so now we've done that and it obviously folds down nice and flat we can go ahead and stick down the panels on here so you need a matte panel so i've gone for a bit of a bright one uh, for this one, which is three and three quarters by four and a half. Okay, so that's going to go on there. And then you need another piece on top, pattern piece. I've gone plain. And this is three and a half by four and a quarter. Okay, and that is going to stick on there like that. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this down now. Okay, so next you want to stick down the front pieces. So you need um, a mat piece that is three and three quarters by one and three quarters, and a pattern piece that is three and a half by one and a half. Um, and we're going to go ahead and stick that down. Okay, so you end up with with that ready to go. Now, as I said, on the original one, I had a little topper. If you want to do that little topper, you can. Um, and that front section there was two inches by three inches. Okay, the white. So the white piece is two inches by three inches. The mat would have been one and three quarter by two and three quarter. And then one and a half by two and a half for the pattern panel. Okay, but I'm going to do something different on this one, just to show you something, another way of doing it. So I've got this decoupage that is from the WizKids, the Trimcraft um, WizKids range. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I thought it might be quite fun to have Mr. Goalie on the back. So I'm going to put Mr. Goalie over here, like that. And then I'm going to have my little boy running at the front there so i'm just going to go ahead and build this up on the front i just thought it might be a bit different um but as i said you can do what you want on the front really you could put a topper on the front whatever you want so i'm going to have him on there like that Okay, so there we have the finished card. So as you can see, it stands up nicely. That's the side profile of it. And that's from the front. So it's just a bit fun. Obviously, as I said, you, you, know, you could do something different to the topper if you wanted to. So I've just used that decoupage. I thought that foil um, green was quite cool for the grass. A bit different. You know, just quite cool for a little boy. So yeah, so there you go. So hopefully you'll have a go. Um, please like and subscribe. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed so far. Um, it's, it's just great. It's blown me away how many I've got. Um, if you can subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell, that'd be great. And we will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.